Upon logging in to WebAcute, providers will be brought to the patient list. However, if there are any documents that require a signature, an alert will pop up in the middle of the screen, prompting providers to review and sign them. If the documents have remained unsigned for seven or more days, the user will automatically enter the sign queue to attend to them. Providers can still bypass this step by clicking no for the alert or by clicking on the home icon in the top left corner of the screen, which will bring them back to the patient list. The physician can also view and access their My Workload section of the chart. It is located on the right side of the patient list screen and is broken down into various categories. Items that are high importance are designated as such by a red exclamation point symbol and unread items appear in blue. To access a patient's chart, the provider can either click on the patient's name, which will bring them directly into the chart, or click on the patient's status board and then click the chart icon as shown in the video. Providers will be brought to the summary tab of the chart. From here, the user can view other available chart tabs, various widgets, which are categories of information that can be collapsed or expanded based on viewing preference, and the reference region, which is located on the right side of the screen. All recent documentation flows into the Activity tab. To tailor a search, the provider can use the Activity Log and Filter buttons to view the information in this tab. Within the Flow Sheets tab, the user can select relevant panels or results to review, graph, and compare. Panels pull information from various assessments and medication administrations for patient visits and can be favorited by physicians if desired. To favorite an item, the provider will click on the yellow star beside the panel title, which will turn yellow to indicate that it is now a favorite. In the History and Problems tab, the provider can view, add, or edit patient problem list by clicking on Problem and then Active or All. Please note, users cannot add or edit patient medical, surgical, family, and social history. Within the Administration tab, previously referred to as Review Visit section in the PCM, users can view information related to selected visits or all visits. This information relates to patient demographics, insurance information, legal indicators, and appointments. The other clinical tab contains information on patient allergies, their care team, forms, substance use, letters, workload items, order list, and personal notes, which flow to the sticky note on the patient status board. The Diagnostics tab is where providers will find all reports, scanned correspondence, and documents. Providers again have the option of tailoring the data viewed by using the activity log or filter buttons. The Provider Notes tab, previously referred to as PCM Documentation, houses all of the physician documents. Find and read physician reports, assessments, consult notes, referrals, and correspondence. Providers can open and access documents to edit or sign from this tab as well by clicking on the page icon and can tailor their view using the activity log and filter buttons. The Nurse slash Allied Health tab contains documentation from nursing and allied health staff. Providers can access scanned documents and reports by clicking on the scan or page icon. 
Providers can tailor information viewed using the activity log or filter buttons. Medication information, such as administrations, current infusions and titrations, active medications, home medications, medication history, visit snapshot, transfers, and medication addressed at discharge is contained within the medications tab of the patient's chart. Providers can also tailor their search by clicking on the category button, which offers additional options for viewing the information contained in this chart tab. The reference region of the chart contains information on the patient, their name, age, sex, birthday, MRN number, their location, height and weight, account number, resuscitation status, allergies, diagnosis, and home medications. Providers can also use the search chart box to search for any queries related to the patient. The return to button will allow users to choose between viewing screens rather than having several windows open like in Meditech 6.15. The home button will return the user to the patient list screen. The chart icon will bring the user into the selected patient's chart. The document icon contains all assessments, notes, referral forms, and form templates that the physician can use to document on their patients. Forms can be saved in draft, where the provider can resume writing where they left off, pending, where the document can be modified or signed by another clinician or provider, or signed and become a finalized document. The orders tab is where providers can read, edit, add, and reconcile orders. The Discharge tab is where outpatient providers only will enter their patient prescriptions. Upon clicking into the Sign queue, physicians can view, sign, or reject orders and documents. The number of items requiring signature is indicated by a number in the top right corner of the icon. The Workload tab is where providers can view their messages, which will be divided into numerous categories. Accessing the Menu tab will allow physicians to select additional options. When accessing the menu from the patient list, there are a decreased number of options to choose from. <laughs> 